So, you know, I just finished 19 days of water fasting, pure water, apple cider vinegar too. And, um, you know, today was, was a weird day, you know what I'm saying? I had to go into work early. And yesterday was a kind of day, was a day I also felt kind of weak. So today I wanted to get some rest when I got home, but I've been un unable to sleep. And I won't say my mind has been on food or I've been hungry, but something has been telling me it's time to eat. That's what... That's a signal that's been crossing my mind all day. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. When you eat, what will you eat? That sort of stuff. And I kept telling myself, well, I want to do at least 21 days, you know? But it's like 21 days is just this round number for me, right? It represents three weeks total. But honestly, one or two days more doesn't really matter. I'm ready to break my fast now. So that's what I'm about to go do. It's very late, you know? But I just want to get it over with. I'm going to break my fast. And then tomorrow, I'm going to begin. I am still have to think about it, but I'm either going to begin no diet, right? Just, you know, doing sicko and letting my weight drop gradually. Or another version where I take into account foods I believe I'm addicted to and completely eliminate them forever. And, you know, that one is very extreme and could lead to more binging if I ever do partake in those foods again, you know? So, I just, yeah, I just finished reading this book. I just finished reading the book. I already put it away. But it's called uh, um, Relax and Enjoy Your Food, you know? And it pretty much just goes over... Yeah, I already buried it. It pretty much just goes over a bunch of... A bunch of things, you know, which is mostly marketing and orthorexic behavior. And um, and, I, and one of the points that it made was that technically all diets fail long term, right? Short term, awesome. Long term, it's very hard to keep that weight off when you lose that certain type of weight, you know? Because when you go back to normal eating, you normally you usually go back to your regular eating patterns. When I started this water fast, it was to lose a lot of weight that I had just gained, and it was to reset. And now that I'm reset, I think something that I've never tried, I want to try. Forget losing weight fast. You know, one of the reasons I was trying to lose weight fast is, oh, the summer, the summer, I got to enjoy it. It's the summer. You know, at the end of the day, long-term, long-term approach I could sacrifice a summer or two, you know? I wanna lose weight the right way, the right way. To me, what is the right way? Sustainable weight loss. I want sustainable weight loss. All, to be 100% with you guys, all my water fasting, I've gained the weight back. It's not the water fasting that makes me gain the weight back. The water fasting helps me to lose weight. It's what happens after I end water fasting. So that's one of the things I've been thinking about this whole fast. It's my approach to eating. And for 90% of the fast, it was non-addictive food, no fasting, um, no fasting, no kind of calorie count, but not too much. Just pretty much eating as I'm hungry, but pretty much eliminating all addictive foods. And then 10%, the past couple few days, I've been thinking about um, not actually totally deleting any particular food basically not demonizing any particular food just pretty much making my diet mostly fruit vegetables you know that's the primary portion and then you have protein of course and then all those like you know like let's not demonize sugar all those things like cupcakes cookies we have them on treat day. It's not something I keep in my house. It's not something I'm gonna fantasize about. But occasionally I'll go to a place that sells that stuff. I'll eat it there and that'll be that. And um, there's a portion of this thing that talks about willpower. And I have to cover it in another video, but basically this has to be something that's like on autopilot versus willpower because willpower is is just too difficult right 
So you create like obstacles to get you out of that mind frame of having like too much of something that's too potent, right? So you want ice cream, you don't keep ice cream in your fridge. Maybe you go to Cold Stone, you get the smallest piece and you have that and that's it, you know? So when I started this, I said, am I a food addict, am I a food addict, am I a food addict? And I had two options. Either I approach it right now that I'm a food addict and I eliminate everything forever, or I try this no diet lifestyle, just getting my lifestyle right, a balanced lifestyle. Let me give you an example. One of the things that was talked about was that, um, I gotta get this book out. One of the things that was talked about was that um, you, you shouldn't exercise to lose weight, okay? If you exercise, it should just be a part of your lifestyle, but there's only two ways to lose weight, through surgery and through reducing calories, right? And the and the thought the mindset behind that is that if you do an, through another method, right, you're likely to gain the weight back. Okay, so let's say you decide that okay, I want to lose weight, so I'm going to start walking ten miles a day, right? Well, what happens when you stop walking ten miles a day? And also, the more you exercise, the hungrier you get. So this is the book, you know, and I just discovered this book. Um, two, three days ago, I read this whole book today. It's 140 pages. I read the whole thing today. I read it just this evening. I've never really consumed a book that fast before, but it was intriguing, you know, and it really, the funniest thing about this book, it's not a book from a guru. It's not a book from a doctor. It's just like, he, he doesn't want you to idolize him. He doesn't want any of that. He doesn't want any credit. He's not selling you anything. It's just a good read. And it's something, it's food for thought, something to think about, you know. A part of me feels like, not that I'm quitting, but a part of me feels like this is just another big part of the journey. And I have to be ready to see the numbers go up in the beginning before they come down naturally. But they're not going to come up in a bad way because I'm not going to practice overeating. Like, even tonight, I'm not going to overeat, you know? Tomorrow, I'm not going to overeat. There's no more binge eating, you know what I'm saying? So let's say it's Thanksgiving and I want to eat a lot of food. That day may come and I might eat it, but I'm not going to beat myself up, up over it because my, my normal lifestyle will be a lifestyle where I can handle that, you know? This is a very shaky thing to try because I truly believe that there's some sort of biochemical imbalance in me that makes me eat in a ravenous way, right? But I've never, since 2016, I never tried to just eat normally. I always had some sort of orthorexic behavior where I was demonizing some sort of food or just doing something, you know what I'm saying? I've never tried to just be relaxed and just enjoy my food, right? And focus on mostly fruits and veggies, protein, and then everything else. It still exists. Nothing is demonized. It's just something that I have on treat day, right? Which isn't any specific day. I'm not marking the calendar. Oh, this day is treat day. At times, when I really want it, I'll go get it. It's not gonna mess me up because everything else is right. You know, exercise is gonna be a part of my lifestyle eating, you know, based on my TDE, I'll calculate how many calories I want to eat to be at a 500, at least 500 uh, calorie a day deficit. And we'll take it from there, you know? So kind of like what I said in my last video, one of my last videos, you know, my metabolism isn't right right now, obviously. I have fastened metabolism right now, so it's very slow. So I expect weight gain, also water weight. I definitely expect weight gain, you know, but after a week or two or three, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the weirdest part, another weird part is that doing this no diet approach, I can still post daily, but I know most of y'all come to see water fast, they come to see weight loss, big numbers and stuff. 
if I was to post, it'd just be me telling you how everything's going, my mind frame, my mindset. And that's what I normally do anyway. So those of y'all that are here for that, I might still do that, but I might also take a break. But either way, I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not excited, and that's a good thing. I'm just normal, even kill, ready to, um, ready to be alive again because these past three weeks, you know, I've been dormant. I've been in my house. I've never, I, I, I don't know the last time I did that. Maybe before I started my weight loss journey, just sat in the house doing absolutely nothing for three weeks other than work. So yeah, I completed 19 days. That's much longer than I thought I would get in the beginning of this, you know? I didn't even think I'd make it past one day. So I'm happy about that. At the end of the day, I need to learn to eat. And this will be my journey in trying to learn how to eat. And I don't anticipate failure because I plan on sticking to my macros and calories. If the weight goes up, I don't see that as a failure. The only failures I see is binging, overeating, unexpectedly too much. If it happens on a birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, it's okay. If everything else is right every other day, right? It's your boy, the American African. Am I a food addict or not? That's what I'm gonna find out. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm not gonna post, I always post my refeed. I'll probably post my refeed. 